Today, we're going to talk about the power of having awesome conversations. Having awesome conversation, what does that mean? When you saying having a great conversation, what are you truly talking about? I have a little rule that I go by that I should be able to speak about any given topic for five minutes. It doesn't matter who I am with. If I am with a banker, I should be able to speak some degree of banking for five minutes. If I'm with a contractor, I should be able to speak about buildings for five minutes. If I am with a teacher, I should be able to teach speak about teaching styles for five minutes. If I'm with a pastor, I should be able to speak about anything church related for about five minutes. I make that rule because that was what was taught me when I was a child. Because the fact is, when if we come into a conversation, we have to be able to bring something to the conversation. A lot of times we say people don't want to talk to us or we don't have good conversation or so-and-so avoids me. You know, one of the key fundamental factors you have to always remember is that whenever you step into someone else's circle, you have to analyze the audience in which you're stepping into that circle to, to meet. Because if you don't speak at their level, that conversations become very boring. You see, and that's what a lot of people don't realize. You spend all of your week lallygagging all week long. You don't read. You don't watch anything informative. And when you open up your mouth, what comes out of it is just something that just needs to just put in a trash can and throw away. And as a result of that, whenever you speak, people are turned off. Whenever you speak, people don't want to talk to you. Number one is that you have to always always ask yourself two questions. When you ask yourself these two questions, you'll always remember one key fundamental factor with your conversations. You ask yourself, am I being sincere and am I being genuine? Your conversations needs to be real. Your conversations needs to be genuine. Your conversations needs to be something that is uh, uh, truly you. Because whenever your conversations are not truly you, the other person can sense that. Whenever these muscles at the top here are so solid and fixed, and when you're smiling, it just shows that your, 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 your smile is plastered on. You see, the other facial gestures and other things that you do, raise your eyes, looking to the left, looking to the right, looking away from the person, you know, raising your chin, cringing your chin, cringing your teeth, cringing the back of your mouth here. All of these different gestures that are there that indicates to the other person that you are not sincere about what you're saying, that you are not sincere about what you're doing. And as a result of that, that turns them off. Whenever you do not have good conversations, conversational skills, you end up doing number two. You end up, your conversations end up being about gossiping. You know, you gossip. You start talking about other people instead of talking about ideas. You start talking about other people's lives instead of talking about things that you're wanting to do. You end up talking about other people's situations instead of concrete solutions to the problem. You end up being a part of the problem instead of bringing creative solutions to the table. And that's what happens when you're not versed in how to communicate. You see, whenever you're having good conversations, how do you increase that number three? How do you increase the fact of having good conversations? You need to read. You need to read, spend time reading. Not, I'm not talking about reading novels. I'm talking about reading wholesome things, things that, that will educate you. You know, if you pick a topic, you know, finance or banking or, 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 or any uh, topic that, that's there, you pick it and you start learning about it. A good source to read will be good magazines. I get Success Magazine every month and it has some short articles in there and you can actually go to their website 
success.com and it's just loaded with articles, personal growth, finance, all kind of things. And it's nice and short, easy to read. So you read, read a lot, read the good book because as you read the good book, it starts washing you. And as it starts washing you, you start building your self-confidence. You see, one of the reasons why people uh, don't have effective conversations or have awesome conversations is because they don't spend time building themselves. You have to be your first project. You have to be the first thing that you're building because when you come into a, a conversation and you do not have self-confidence, the other person smells you out like a skunk because the fundamental fact is it reflects in your inadequacy. It, it reflects in your insecurities. When, you, when somebody doesn't want to talk to you, you go tell everybody else they don't want to talk to you, not realizing, hey, you don't have anything to contribute. That's why they don't want to talk to you. You know, you create problems instead of creating solutions. So that's why you need to make sure you grow you. If you grow you, then you will be able to effectively speak more into people's lives. Whenever someone comes up to me and they're talking to me, you see, the, 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 the quintessential questions that people most ask, how was your week? How was your work? How was all of that? Pleasantries. Me, I'm just one of those persons. You go to the five seconds of pleasantries and we go into a topic. You know, we talk about something. And I don't want to talk about anything that causes strife. I don't want to talk about anything that causes bitterness and hatred and malice and all of that stuff. I want to talk about wholesome things. So tell me about solutions. Tell me about ideas. Tell me about what you're doing to build yourself. Tell me about things that you're doing to grow you. Tell me about things you're doing to grow others. Don't tell me about what all the messes that happen in society. Tell me about the things that you're doing in order to, to address those messes. Things that you're doing in order to build others. Things that you're doing in order to encourage others. Those are the things that I'm excited about because those are the things that grow people. I'm all about personal growth. So whenever people come to me and they come into my sphere to talk to me, I like conversations that are awesome, conversations that grow others, conversation and add value to others. You see, I'm, I'm not that much about uh, what people are saying about me or what they said. It doesn't matter. You know, when somebody says something negative about me, I just bless them and I just keep growing. I keep growing every single day. I work on myself every single day and I grow myself every day. You see, a lot of times we get um, tied up in the bondage because we spend time down there pontificating and thinking and, and pondering over what people are saying about us instead of working on ourselves and going out there with a true intention to be sincere and genuine in our conversation and growing others. So you see, that's the whole idea of having awesome conversations. People who, who are good at having awesome conversations are very discerning. So that means if you're coming at them and you're not real, they know it. They know it. You see, a lot of times people will come and what they do is that they come at you and they, they're not real. They're not sincere. I'm, and I'm one of those persons. I'm like a lie detector, sincere detector. When somebody's not sincere, if you see me react a certain way to you, step back a little bit and think. Because the fundamental fact is if something is not genuine, sincere, I have a tendency sometimes, I, I kind of, I, I pick it out real quick and my conversations are not long at all. You know, I will, I will be very nice about it, but I wouldn't want to stick around because the atmosphere that I'm sensing, the, the, the vibe that I'm sensing is not wholesome. The vibe that I'm, the vibe that I'm sensing is not real. The vibe that I'm sensing have an underline, uh, undertow to it. There's something underneath there. There's, there's a uh, in, in volcanic terms, there's a volcanic tectonic earthquake occurring down there. You might not be able to pick it up uh, on the ground. You can, might not be able to feel it, but something is on it. There's an underlying motive. There's an underlying thing that you're hiding. And as a result of you hiding that, then it's not making your conversation genuine. So we need to go out there and be genuine. Number four, in order to have effective conversation, you have to learn to love people. It doesn't matter what. You have to love people. You have to love the ones who don't love you. You have to love the ones who love you. You have to love the ones who are in between. You have to love the ones who will stab you in the back. You have to love the ones who will hold your hand and lift you up. You have to love each person. Because when you genuinely love people, when you genuinely care about people, you will genuinely have 
awesome conversations. Your conversations will be real. Your conversations will be wholesome. So I want to encourage you to do it today, to go out there and have some awesome conversations. Have some conversations that are genuine. Have some conversations that are wholesome. And then stand back and ask yourself, are my conversations sincere? Are my conversations real? Are my conversations adding value to others? Am I truly sincere with how I deal with people? Am I truly sincere? Am I the type that talk to them good in front of their face and then talk ill about them behind their face? And then just stop doing what you're doing and learn to do things the correct way and your conversations will become awesome. So have an awesome growth day and go out there today and, 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 and live, live live because you have one life to live don't forget hit the subscribe button below hit the subscribe button below and when you hit the subscribe button don't forget to select the bell because by selecting the bell it will give you the awesome opportunity to be notified whenever i add another video god bless you